right, let's uh, move on to that Bank of Japan story. It has doubled its lending program in an effort to combat deflation. Governor Masaki Shirakawa and his board are increasing the three-month loan facility for banks to 20 trillion yen. That's more than $200 billion. So what does it all mean? Well, to iron it out for us, I'm joined now by Bloomberg columnist Willie Pesek. He comes to us from Bangkok today. Good morning to you, Willie. So they've caved to government pressure and done Greetings. something here. Explain. Yes, I mean, I think that's the important point to make. The BOJ has done something. It's not wildly significant, but I think it's a kind of symbolic gesture uh, by a central bank that's under pressure. The government is pointing fingers, deflation's worsening, politicians are saying do more, do more, do more. The BOJ did something. Will it make a big difference? It's an open question, but certainly the, the BOJ has made some headlines and they'll silence the government for a couple of days. Well, this is the thing, Willie. I mean, they've done QE before, more is fine, but is it going to have an mm. impact? And if it doesn't, what's plan B? Yeah, I mean, this won't have any impact at all. This is largely a symbolic political move. The BOJ has to get more serious. It has to do a lot more in terms of, uh, you know, uh, what you would call unconventional policies. Um, that could mean buying more government debt, buying more corporate debt, buying asset-backed securities, just in a sense thinking out of the box, thinking more creatively because deflation is worsening, the government's doing nothing about it, the onus right now is completely on the BOJ and they do have to do something other than what they've been doing for the last 10 years which hasn't worked. But isn't it, isn't it uh, time, Willie, that we kind of admit that the BOJ hasn't got the tools or, or at least the genuine determination to end deflation? Is it a matter of the government stepping in now and doing something? Hmm. I think it is, because in many ways in recent years, the issue is less the supply of yen and more demand for it. The BOJ can print all the yen at once. It can essentially pump all the liquidity into the economy at once. The question is, who is using it? You know, people aren't borrowing, banks aren't lending. So in many ways, the credit channels, the, the, the forces that make monetary policy so powerful aren't functioning as you would expect. The government needs to do more. The government needs to do its part. It needs to stop pointing fingers at the BOJ alone. Thanks very much. Willie Pasek there coming to us from Bangkok.